CRM, what is it and why should you care as a freelancer? A CRM is a customer relationship manager. It's a system to track your leads for the people you want to work with. In this video, I'm going to show you the system I've made in Notion with a link to download my template and walk you through how I use it as a freelancer. So a CRM is a system to help you keep on top of your leads. For example, you've emailed a bunch of companies and this system can track the last time you heard from them, if at all, and when might be a suitable time to follow up. You can track your successes and failures with outreach and make notes about the outcome, as well as add any research notes that might help towards your initial introduction to them. I'm going to walk you through the system I use as a freelance animator that I've built inside Notion. It can easily be customised and adapted for any industry, so if you're not in animation, don't worry, I hope this insight will still convince you to set up a CRM for yourself. Let's take a look. Here's the CRM I made in Notion. It's filled with dummy information to give you an idea on how this works. The best way to show you everything is by creating a new listing, and you can do that with this quick add button. First we'll add the name of the company that we want to reach out to. What type of company are they? Um, I've got a list here of various options I've populated. Uh, it's easy to add and remove from this list. What's the company's web address? And then where are they based? I'm going to choose Bristol here. And this next step is quite important. Do you know of a particular contact within the company that you can reach out to or do you only have a generic email? This information can be found on their website, a generic email at least, but sometimes there's a dedicated email or person who deals with freelancers. Failing that, the website may have a team or an about us page, and you might have to do a bit of sleuthing on LinkedIn to find a contact who's a decision maker that's going to resonate when you do reach out. Even if you end up just using a generic email to contact, it's worth addressing the email to the decision maker. So if you do have a contact, you can add their name and details here. These next two entries are about whether I think I'm a good fit or not for the company. In the notes section, it's a space to add anything interesting that will help my introduction email, where we might have some common ground. Uh, maybe there's a particular project of theirs that I loved and I want to geek out about it. Just something to help personalise the message when I reach out. If I don't think I'm a good fit for them, I'll add reasons why. Uh, for example, if they're mainly a 3D CG focused company, it's unlikely they'll want me for my 2D skills. It doesn't mean they're against it, it's just a harder sell. It's important to include companies you may not be suitable for and tracking reasons as to why. Because as your experience and skill set grow, those reasons may change to make you more of a viable fit later on. Now just to mention that at this point onwards, we're probably filling in more detail than needed when creating a new listing. As this all might get filled out at a later date, but for the sake of this example, we'll move on ahead. Here I can then track if I've contacted them or not, and if I have, I'll add the date of when I made contact. And depending on what the email was about, I can then add a reminder on when it might be best to follow up. I've got a note here to use the at remind function. Type that in and press enter, then select it to choose a date of when you want to be reminded to follow up. If you've been lucky enough to get a response, then fill out the outcome box with what happened. Maybe you got added to their roster, or maybe you won a job, or maybe um, they'll want to get back in touch later on. Lastly are some automated bits of information which tracks when this listing was added, which will help with the sorting function later on. And it also makes a note of how long it's been since you last made contact. I've got it to flag a warning if it's been at least six months, but you can easily adjust that in the settings by changing the amount of days. I personally think that's more than enough time to reach out and check in again without being an annoyance, but it also depends on what's happened before that point, which is why there's the custom reminder above. Okay, let's close out of that and see it all in situ. So here are all your listings. At the top of the database are some tabs I've created that filters the data. So by default, it shows everything in the aptly titled All tab. If you have a table that's larger than your screen size, there's a horizontal scroll bar at the bottom of the table, but it can be a bit annoying to get to, especially if your table's really long. 
So as a quick shortcut, you can hold shift and use your mouse wheel to move horizontally. And of course, without shift to move vertically. Anyway, back to the tabs. The next tab is recently added. So I can keep track of the newer entries I want to act on soon. In the next tab, it's seen which entries I have not contacted. Maybe because I'm not a suitable fit at this time. Then I can see which ones I have contacted and how long it's been since I reached out. And lastly, there's an outcome view. If I have had a response, I'll fill out the outcome column and it will appear here. Again, I can see how long it was since I had a response and I can decide whether it's worth checking in again with them. I should also add that Notion has a group an option. In the all view, I've grouped it by whether I'm a suitable fit or not. I can hide the ones I'm not and view the yeses and maybes. It's just another way of analysing data. If you're looking for more information to track, you can easily customise this further and add more columns by using the plus button on the far right. There are many more options here to include, Notion is a powerful tool. As time goes on, I may want to add more information, but for now, this setup works for me. And that, in a nutshell, is my CRM in Notion. While there's a setup for me as a freelance animator, it can easily be adapted for any industry by at least swapping out the category listings, or you may even want to add more details depending on what data is important to you. It's so easy to customise. If you want to use this template, I've added the link in the description with instructions on how you can add this to your own Notion account. I hope this helps, and if you've used and customised the template or have your own system, I'd love to hear about it. Until then, I'll see you next time.